Hi everyone, this is Mike Ayalon, CEO of Greek University. Wanted to talk a little bit today about one of the presentations that I give on college campuses across the country called Hazing Prevention. How did we get here and how do we stop it? It will come as no surprise to anybody that hazing does exist on college campuses. You can see that in newspapers across the country and it's affected not only Greek organizations but also many athletic teams and even the band in some instances. The issue here is, is that 55% of college students have been hazed, 47% of them have actually been hazed before they ever got to college. And the problem that we're having is, is that only 9 out of 10 students actually consider themselves to be hazed. The other issue is, is that we often read about hazing instances when there's a physical injury or even death but we don't talk enough about the mental aspects of hazing and what are those ramifications to the students over a lifetime once they've been hazed. So in this particular presentation, we're going to review the early history of hazing in society. We'll show how hazing has been portrayed in the media over the last three to four years. And we're also going to review the hazing laws in your particular state. The students can actually vote live with their cell phones on whether various activities should be considered hazing or not. We're also going to teach the students about bystander intervention and how that relates to hazing so that way when they see the hazing, they actually go ahead and report that. We're also going to give students various ways to eliminate hazing from their chapter by offering them a large number of replacement activities that they can use to replace that hazing activity. So some of the learning objectives that we're going to have with this presentation, number one, to analyze the origins of hazing, number two, to describe why hazing exists, number three, we're going to illustrate the progression of hazing related media coverage from 2012 to current day, number four, to summarize the hazing laws in your state, number five, we're going to develop bystander intervention techniques to stop the hazing before it starts. And number six, we're going to produce those substitute activities that actually bring the desired results of brotherhood and sisterhood to your chapter and that interaction amongst your members without any hazing activities. So I'd love to come to your campus and work with your students. Please give me a call at 516-642-3108 so that way we can talk and book a date. Or you can also go to our website to view a full list of presentations that we offer at www.greekuniversity.org. See you soon.